Welcome to the SolidWorks tutorial on assemblies and uh, simulation. So in the last video I went over how to create mates and an assembly. Uh, you can use the same process and instead of when you insert component and hit browse you just click on assembly and import that and you will get um, these assemblies that I have here. So you can have um, these are the same uh, assembly, I just labeled them car 1, 2, 3, 4 um, for um, a, a specific purpose for a problem I was trying to solve. But you can have them all the same assembly and have them all race each other at the same exact. But I wanted them to be slightly different from each other and be able to modify the car. And so that's why I separated them. And then I inserted two new components, which would be the little pin and uh, the catcher with the four pieces of track, which are the same track, just four of them. Um, so you can do a s simulation by just um, doing a regular motion simulation with the animation, and you can click on a part um, and move your timeline and then move the part however you want and then move it again and move your car again then you have to run the calculate and see how the cars move in space um, this is handy when you want the part to move in a way that you want it to be but say we want to apply gravity it becomes a little bit more complicated um, one thing to to know is um, these right here change your display um, I make sure they're both indented that way the camera has no effect or the screen we're looking at here has no effect on the uh, calculation uh, this is how you get the camera to follow uh, the part that you want in a specific way however you want I just turn them off so I can move around while it's uh, rendering its process so we're back in the model space. Um, this I renamed it uh, to a uh, the motion study to race. Now, if we want to do a motion study, we have to have the add-ins. So add-ins, and we're going to want motion and simulation in particular. And once it pops up and does all its calculations, and you have to accept um, the agreement, then you have to do motion analysis, which you can see I have mine already here um, that I've rendered, and the car is falling all over the place. Okay. So I'll run it so you can see what it does, and I'll go over how to do this. As you can see on this one, uh, because I didn't move the pin, I just turned it off so it the simulation pretends it's not there. And uh, you can see my cars bounce off, things fall down the hill, because I have a gravity applied and a few bits of physics. Uh, let's go back to the beginning. So when you first create one, let's we'll create a new motion study. Right click, uh, create new motion study. We're going to do motion analysis. Alright, so we have a new slate here. Uh, we're going to be using this one right here, calculate and gravity or contact, sorry. Um, contacts, everything is going to contact. So we're going to click on everything. Um, just because there's a few more tricks you have to do to get this to move, I'm not going to click on it here so we can get it to work. Uh, it can be a pain uh, to click on everything, but I'm going to pause it, click on everything, and then return. Now that I have 
everything clicked on that I wanted to come in contact and not go through stuff, I can hit OK. Uh, you can also change uh, the materials and stuff and uh, the different slipperinesses of things, all based on what what you want to do. There's lots of options here for you. And hit OK. So now we have our contact bodies. Now we want to apply some gravity. I like to reduce gravity to like 96, otherwise uh, it moves really fast. And then we want to specify the direction gravity is in. Um, you can see it's going up, which is not going to be very good for us. We flip the direction. So I just clicked on a line to say it to move in this direction, and then I want it to go down. So gravity is now applied in the direction we want. It's been reduced, so things don't move quite so fast. And now we can move our timeline out to uh, 14 seconds. And it should be able to run. All we have to do is hit Calculate. Anytime you change anything, you need to use Calculate. And then after that, you can just hit Play. The calculation usually takes a, a bit more time to do, unless you have a really fast machine. So you can see I've got one frame done. And another frame. Uh, some things to, to note. Um, your cars cannot touch anything before, because if they're inside, something else, and then physics are applied. Uh, they will bounce and do all sorts of weird things. Um, you can see that my square car is having issues being on its side and halfway in the track. Um, these are quirks and that happen uh, based on how things are set up. Um, I'd probably go through and make sure he was lined up properly. Uh, here, this is the end of this tutorial.